Hey, what's up, everybody? DJ Lefave coming from you today from the other side of the screen. That's right. We're switching things up because I got to show you stuff over there today. You want to back up your hard drive. And if you're on a Windows system, this is the best way to back up your music. It is as fast as it can be, considering the amount of data that you may or may not be dealing with. So let's get into this. Uh, there's going to be a tool that I want you guys to download to make this all thing go very, 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 very simple, easy for you. It's Cho Easy Copy. And what this does is it's a graphical user interface. That's what GUI stands for. Basically, it's an interface for you to use the built-in Windows tool. It's a command line prompt called RoboCopy. So if you want to read about it, uh, the link is in the description to get to here. And then you're going to click on Download Binaries. When you click on download binaries, it's going to bring you to a new page. There's a beta, there's a beta, there's a beta. I'm going with the stable version, 2.0.0.1, and then I'm just going to download the zip file right there. All right, once you download it, extract it, install it, and then what ends up showing up is uh, this uh, right here. We're not going to save. I want to show you from, the, from fresh, from fresh. Here we go. You open it up, and uh, this, this pops up. This is the window of what Cho Easy Copy looks like. Very, very simple to use. So what you've got is you've got a source directory where your main music is, and then you've got a destination directory of where you want your music to go. So for this case, I'm gonna, I've am gonna i got an example folder with about 10 songs in it, all right? So I'm gonna open that up by clicking on this window right here. We're gonna click on this, and I have it located on my desktop right here, and it's nicely called example folder. All right, so in your destination folder, you wanna make sure that you have the same folder name. That way the virtual DJ backup is going to match file one for one when you have the drives all lined up. So in my destination folder, I'm going to my D drive, which is where it all is. And I already have a folder here called example folder. So make sure they're just lined up one for one. Once that's all good, you, you can click this box or not show line numbers. I'm going to show it just because, you know, I'm doing it because I want you to see something that's happening. I want you to see it. I want you to feel the backup. And then all you do when you're ready is you click run. Just click run. And then it shows you all the stuff. And the little pop-up comes up at the bottom of your screen that says, this has been done. You can go and verify this now by going to your music folder, right? Go to your music folder, local disk drive, and then example folder. And there's the songs. They, they all backed up very quickly. So when I did this, it took me approximately six, six to seven hours to do about three terabytes worth of music. Now, how do you get your database backed up? Well, hopefully you guys are already doing this and you've already set up a way to get your database and virtual DJ set up. So on the top right, click settings. We're going to go into options and then we're going to type in database. So here you can see where your database backup location will be if you have it different from the default save location, okay? If it's different from the default save location, and then you have other options like uh, how often you want the backup to uh, automatically backup or zero for no automatic backup. Now, if you wanna do a manual backup, just come on down. If you're on the, if you're a cool kid like me and you've got the Vanta GT skin, it's, it's the same on Pro Skin. Uh, just come down here, click this little button and then do database and then uh, create a database backup. And then you could tell them where you want that file to be. Now, in your removable hard drive, uh, well, let me back that up. If you're on Windows, the new default save location for Virtual DJ is no longer in your Documents folder. It is now in your App Data. So if you guys don't know how to get to your App Data, it's C Drive, Users, the name of your computer, App Data. If you don't see App Data, if App Data is not showing up here, go up into View and then Show, and then you're going to show Hidden Items, and then App Data will get you there. I've unchecked it and now app data has gone away. Windows doesn't want you messing with this because it's it's got a lot of great, great stuff in there. And then in here, roaming, and I believe it's just virtual DJ. At the, oh, program files, program files, for roaming. Let me zoom out again. It is roaming, roaming, local, there it is, local. And then in local, it is virtual DJ, yes, local. And then there is all of your items for that used to be in the documents folder of of uh, in the old days. You know, back back in the day, back in the day, they used to do that. So very very simple way for you to back up your music from one drive to another using a tool that's already built into Windows, and it, it was really really super simple. It kept all the names the same, 
And then when you bring your secondary hard drive over to another computer, as long as the drive name is the same as your primary, you have a one-for-one -one matchup with your virtual DJ uh, database and then your backups, your primary and your backup. So hopefully that answers some people's questions that I've, I've received recently about how do I back up my music easily. If, uh, if it doesn't, you still got more questions, then obviously I'm here. I'm here for you guys. 110% here for you guys. That's a quick hit. I'm LaFave. Always make sure you eat, sleep, LaFave, repeat. See you on the live stream. Like, subscribe, share, comment. And if you want to support the channel, right here, 99 cents a month, you get all my love. All my love. I'm LaFave. Out.